it's friends! In this video I want to show you how you can create this component that can be used as an earring or as a bracelet and at the end of the video I will show you how you can create also this kind of decoration here to create a bracelet all around the component. I hope that the tutorial will be clear and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye! To create the component you need John James Needles size 12, bead weaving thread, bicons size 3 mm. You need 10 green bicons and 10 orange bicons. The yellow ones it depends on the length of the necklace or bracelet. You need one crystal size 16 mm. And you need seed beads size 15. This is the color reference I'm going to use. Pick up two seed beads, one bicon, one seed bead, one bicon, one seed bead and the last bicon and carry all the beads to the end of the thread. Sew through all the beads, closing the working around and to fix the thread on the beadwork. Then pick up this sequence, two seed beads, one bicon, one seed bead, one bicon and the last seed bead. As you can see I'm going out from this bicon and I sew through the same bicon I'm starting from, in this way. So also through the seed bead and the green bicon. Then pick up the same sequence but in the opposite order. So it's a seed bead, a bicon, a seed bead, a bicon and two seed beads. And so through the bicon you are starting from. Go on repeating these two steps until you have on the beadwork 10 green bicons. Then I'm going out from this bicon. I pick up this sequence of beads, one seed bead, one bicon, one seed bead, and I sew through the opposite green bicon here. Then pick up two seed beads and sew through the bicon you were starting from. Sew through the beads until you go out from the two seed beads size 15 and at this point, without adding new beads, sew through all the seed beads size 15 that are placed in the middle in the center of the beadwork. At this point, sew through all the beads until you go outside from a seed bead size 15 just before the bicon. Then pick up 9 seed beads size 15 and sew through the two seed beads size 15 after the next bicon and repeat this step until the end of the round. Once you have completed your round, sew through the beads until you go out from the central bead of the group of 9, so it is the bead number 5. Pick up three more seed beads and sew through the bead number 5 of the next group of 9 beads and repeat this step until the end of the round. Before putting the last 3 beads of the round, put the cap inside the beadwork, then pick up the 3 seed beads, sew through the central bead of the next group of 9 and pull very well the thread. Now follow me because it's very easy. Here I'm going out from this seed bead that is a central seed bead of the group of 3. I pick up 4 seed beads size 15. Then I skip this group of 3 seed beads and I, I sew through the central seed bead of the next group of 3. And I repeat this step until the end of the round. Here you can see very well the steps of the last round. Very easy to make. Now sew through the beads of the last round two or three times and sew through all the beads until you go out from a seed bead size 15 just before a bicon. Pick up five seed beads size 15 and sew through the next two seed beads between the bicons and repeat this step until the end of the round. I'm going out from this seed bead here I pick up another one and I sew through the first two seed beads over the bicon. Then I skip the next bead and I sew through the next two beads. And I repeat the same step 
until the end of the round. Here I want to skip the central bead because in this way you're going to get this pointy effect over the bikon. This is the beadwork completed and I like to think of this creation as the, as the central part of the, a bracelet or if you want also a necklace. Now I want to show you how you can connect the central component to the bracelet. First of all you have to go outside from one of the beads here then pick up one bicon, three seed beads and one bicon and sew through the next bead here. Now sew through the beads until you go out from the central bead here pick up seven seed beads and sew through the same bead you were starting from. I want this hook, this ring of beads, to become a square. So, first of all I sew through the next bead here. Then I skip this bead and I sew through the next one. Again I skip one bead and I sew through the next one. And I repeat this step for the third and last time. If you want to work like this, you can use this square here to put the hook on the earring and this component can become an earring. But if you want, you can go on working on the square to create a bracelet or a necklace. If you want to create a bracelet or a necklace, you can work on the square here. First of all, you have to go outside from this bit here. Then you can make a decoration. Um, I pick up one seed bead, one back and one seed bead and I carry all these beads to the end of the thread. Then I pick up one more seed bead and I sew through the three bead I've just added on my beadwork. I also sew through the bead on the square I was starting from. Then sew through all the beads until you go out from the last bead you have put on the beadwork and you can repeat the same step to create another square. Repeat the same steps on the other side of the component and so in this way you can have the bracelet. To put the clasp on the bracelet you can make a last square on the bracelet and using jump rings you can connect the square to uh, the clasp and in this way you can wear the bracelet. The beadwork is completed. As you can see you can use this component in many different ways as always. I hope that the tutorial was clear, I hope that the creation can be an inspiration for you and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye!